Good morning. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Today is September 7th. Uh, it is our seventh day of the Safeguard of Soul series, serious meditations for the serious-minded Christian or anyone seeking truth and a serious examination of their souls. So today we're going to be talking about the idea or the title is Concerning the Partial Judgment. So number one. At the time of my death, there will be an inquisition at which I will see myself lying on my bed being examined. And you all know what the word inquisition means. It means to be questioned. Um, the most famous use of the term is the Spanish Inquisition when the Roman Catholic Church of Spain did a horrible questioning, killing and persecution of people who they distrusted or who were seeking uh, to find Christianity in a faith other than the Roman Catholic faith. Um, but the, the idea of Inquisition is being asked, questioned over and over. So, and at our death, we will be Inquisitioned. Number two, on my left will be the devil laughing with great, with a great book open wide. So I may read all the sins of my life, which are clearly written therein. If you remember in the book of Revelation, it says that book will be open and the books will be open. The books are the books of our deeds. That's what this is referring to. On my right will be standing my guardian angel, reading a small book which contains the very little good I did in my life. Who will, with the sad countenance, present the book before my eyes? Oh, what a judgment! Oh, what a sight! Oh, what a fear! The suggestion here that I see at the bottom of these thoughts that we should think about is ask the Lord to keep you from angering him further, that you might receive a good death. Now, there's a lot more that could be said. I especially think about this, which is just so frightening, the number two point. On my left will be the devil laughing, with a great book opened wide, so I may read all the sins of my life, which are clearly written therein. Uh, we have a song in the church here that says, uh, Two Little Children, and it goes something like, um, Little children, don't you know your deeds are recorded? Um, no, that's not how the tune goes. <laughs> I can't remember exactly, but I just know that the song that we sing for the children is very pertinent, and it's exactly this idea. That when we stand before God, we're going to be able to read all these deeds. And if you'll just pause and you think about your 24-hour day, and in that day, how much actual good do you do? And I'm not talking about doing good in the sense where you and I think that, oh, if I do this good thing, it will make me really good. And God will say, oh yeah, you've done so much good, Steve, or you've done so much good. Now I'll let you into my heaven. That is not what we're talking about. We're talking about this, that when you do bad, you're proving that you don't want to be with God. And when you do good, you're proving that you're a normal creation like God intended you to be. <clears throat> So, if your doing good really amounts to 5%, 10%, 20%, then what does that leave the rest of your life proving to God? That you want to be a normal creature? Like, because to do what is good is to do righteousness. Righteousness is the act of doing what's right. And doing what is right the reason we use that word is because it's right, it's normal. It's what the, the thing that it's created for, its purpose is being done. So if my mowers are running properly, they're being righteous. 
righteous mowers. Pretty simple. They're just doing what they're supposed to do. Does it make them extra good? No. It just makes them normal. So when you as a human do what you're supposed to do, it just makes you normal. That's what righteousness is. It's not this existential thing. You know, if you are truly righteous and then you seek God in prayer and other things, like there is a, a reality that you can you can leave this physical tainted world somehow and enter into some ex existential eternal state like the Apostle Paul did and many of the monks and all these things that is extremely hard to understand. But we're talking about right now the everyday life. So just think about all the things that you do in the day and how much you do that is right and how much that you do that is wrong and that all of the deeds in your life will be written down in a book and in books. That's what it says in the book of Revelation. And when we stand before God, these things are going to be shown. So that's pretty frightful. So don't do them anymore. Seek to control your mind. Seek to control your mouth. Seek to control your eye, your hands, and all of your action. And cut yourself out of the situations that you know cause you to sin. Okay. I hope this is an encouragement. God bless you. I love you. Even though I don't know you. Uh, and I really hope the best for you. And I pray that God will have mercy on you and me alike.